what it is, beautiful people. It's your girl, Maya and girl, Elizabeth, with Effortless Yet Stylish, back at it again with another video. And so this video is going to be about da -da -da, layering. And so layering is honestly a big part of my style and things that I wear um, because it gives you a lot of variability to wear those things that you love during the summertime, some of those things, and then wear them in the wintertime just by adding a cropped hoodie, um, an oversized collar button up, or even the most basic thing, a turtleneck. And so honestly, over the month or so, last month or so, I've been trying to put together some layering outfits for you guys just to demonstrate some of the things that could come about by layering. So, um, some of them are just going to be like real simple things. Some of them are going to be, I guess, more unique things. And so, please stay tuned to see what your girl has put together. For this look, I was really channeling my 90s fashion side. This no sleeve top was always cute when paired with shorts, but I wanted to be able to wear it during the winter. I decided to wear the fishnets under the jeans to provide more uniqueness to the look to give it more of a streetwear style. I could definitely see me wearing a more casual version to this look by wearing black Timberland boots and a black bucket hat or cap. For this look, I was definitely channeling the corset trend that's been going on recently. I have this floral bustier type of top that I decided to make versatile and bring it along into the colder months by adding a turtleneck. I paired the bustier with some matching chartreuse high-waisted pants in order to meet the bottom of the bustier and not leave the white from the turtleneck underneath showing. Now this look I've worn different variations of for a while, but it never fails me. I've worn this look to work while also finding a way to make it casual by wearing Jordans with it. The oversized polo is actually my brother's in a size medium that I decided to put a mesh belt over. You can also never go wrong with a colored lip and a pair of fun tinted glasses. This is a look you can definitely dress up or dress down depending on your mood. For this look, I've honestly had this idea circulating my brain for a while now. My black fringe top is one of my favorite summer tops that I have and I wondered one day what it would look like over a printed top and voila! This is what I came up with. To provide more color, I went with some yellow high-waisted skinny jeans to meet the bottom of the fringe top. To add more depth to the look, I added a hat and yellow glasses to match the pants. You could always wear more subtle colors, but I think the yellow really makes a look pop. For this look, I brought back my mesh black jacket from the first shopping haul vlog. With the jacket being see-through, you have to be careful about what you layer underneath. I took the more subtle approach which will probably change when I wear the jacket again. I didn't want to do too much with the outfits as I wanted the mesh jacket to be the prime staple piece of the look. I chose the silver studded black combat boots because they match the silver in the belt on the pants. Now this look was one of my favorite work looks over winter break. I kept trying to figure out how I could wear this white corset with sleeves in the winter. I decided to put my black turtleneck underneath and it turned out to be really cute. I originally wore this look with some khakis, but that's because I couldn't wear ripped jeans to work. After analyzing the look, I decided that a waist belt and a hat would really take the look over the top. <laughs> For this look, I purchased this romper at the beginning of my fall semester and hadn't worn it come winter and wanted to incorporate it into the outfit rotation. I originally wore this look with pantyhose underneath and also decided that a cropped long sleeve shirt would overall look the best so there's a slight open belly because a full length top would gather unpleasantly in that area. I stuck with a black base top with neon accent colors for the subtle but noticeable pop of color. <laughs> For this look, I channeled my inner stylish businesswoman. I wore a more casual version of this look to class one day that I had to give a presentation and wanted something that was business casual but not too casual. 
I took an oversized blazer that I purchased and turned it into a dress by adding a tan belt. I even included a tan oversized satchel bag, white crocodile textured booties, gold clear lens aviators, and a nude lip to add a neutral accent. Definitely one of my favorite looks over the last month or two. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys got a lot of inspiration out of the various layering looks that I got to show to you guys. So please, 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 if you like the content of this video, please like and comment below of your favorite look in the video. So it's been your girl, Maya underscore Elizabeth with the Y, not a I. With effortless, yes, stylish, and I'll catch y'all on the, ooh, that was ugly. Catch y'all on the mm, mm, flip side.